What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am doing okay for now. And um, I am making a video about how to make a woman want you sexually. Yes, because you know, now she wants you, but you want to fuck. So now you got to make her want you sexually. And it's not hard, actually. It's just like, um, I think a lot of you guys just jump right in. Like you being too sexual, too quick. And she's like, yo, that turned women off. And then even if she was probably wanting to, now that you came on to her like too aggressively, she's like, uh, no, I'm not fucking him. You know, it's just you did it too quick. And maybe in her mind, she starts feeling like, oh, he only sees me as a sex object, which I mean, I know a lot of you guys do see women as that. But now that she feels that, she's like, no, I'm good. So today I'm telling you how to kind of go about it step by step to where you create that sexual tension where she's like, yo, you know how I hold my, my shirt all the time. But yeah, she's going to be like, uh, I need this right now. I need to go wide open right now because I'm ready for the dick. Sorry. Yes. All right. So let's go. Number one. You gotta look and smell dangerous. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. You already know me with scent is uh, just crazy. You know, you have a personal scent and it's just like, oof, it takes me. And I'm like, yes. So if you guys can have that, that's a plus. And everybody can have that. You just gotta go buy some fucking cologne. Uh, go buy Tom Ford. I know it's a little pricey, but yo. That shit smells so good. And you know, actually, I might give you a tip. If you guys don't want to buy some stuff like that is like super expensive, there is uh, some website. It sounds like I'm about to do a commercial or an ad, but it's not. It's some website uh, that where you can find cheaper but real cologne of like those expensive cologne. Like a Tom Ford, you can find like a, a cheap version of it, but it's still the real deal. You know the little tester that's like at the at the store that everybody is trying on so they get the testers then therefore the the thing they're gonna send you is gonna be full but it's gonna be 60 dollars instead of like 330 so you can get those cents just if I, okay back to the subject so you gotta smell dangerous and then you gotta look dangerous so maybe women love i mean what what looks dangerous sometimes is like a leather jacket or some dark clothes or if you have a bike like that makes people think you're dangerous not saying you gotta go get a bike if that's not your thing but i'm telling you that's something that makes people feel like oh it's dangerous or how you walk is your walk confident or can you maintain eye contact all of that is something that shows that yes you're confident but you're like dangerous a little bit and women love that shit and they love to feel like uh if there is an issue he's gonna protect us and they even without talking or nothing they see that when you walk in when you walk in the room they can sniff it and yeah a woman want to feel like oh him nobody's gonna fuck with him that's the look that you need to go for if you feel like oh i look like mr nice guy and uh, everybody can walk all over me she's not gonna like you so try to look and smell dangerous number two Communicate your way out of the friend zone because you are pushing bitches. You don't want to be so friendly. I mean, you do want to be friendly, but you don't want to be put in the friend zone. So how you do that is like when you go talk to the girl, you make it clear that your intentions are not to be a friend. So you don't give her half compliments, shit like, oh, you kind of look nice. No, you don't say shit like that. Also, you don't judge her for looking sexy. You actually notice it and appreciate it and you let her know yo that dress on you yes she gotta know that you're not seeing her as a friend because a friend might not say this type of shit especially if it's a guy and a, and a girl they probably won't say shit like that but no you're like yo that dress on you good choice you know so she knows you're trying to fuck i mean not exactly she doesn't know you're trying to fuck but she knows you're not trying to be a friend number three use the power of innuendos i don't know how to say that word i hope i said it right but what the innuendo is is pretty much you say something that sounds innocent but it's not like she can take it the way that she wants like for example then my friend came over and he destroyed my vase and the whole floor was wet 
yes destroy wet those words can be taking the way she wants obviously we're talking about a vase supposedly but in her mind she's like oh the floor was wet okay my pussy can be wet too oh she might not even realize but in her mind it's gonna start like making her feel like okay or you can say shit like yeah i played football i was so fucking wet after the workout it's crazy i had to take my shirt off oh he was wet okay so now she's picturing you wet Oh, he took his shirt off. Now she's picturing you with your shirt off. Yes. You didn't say anything crazy, but you did put some type of pictures in her mind. That's what you do. And even another one, maybe you guys are sitting outside or it's a venue inside and outside. Tell her, um, I want you to come inside with me. Oh yeah. In her mind, inside with me. I want you to come. The whole sentence Sounds very dirty, but very clean at the same time. Watch, it's coming in your mind, it is. Number four, now that you got going and you guys are talking, use the triangle gaze, you know, so you look at the left eye, go to the mouth, go to the right eye, left mouth, left mouth. Oh, I mean, you, you, get, you get it, because I don't know left and right. But uh, yes, it's gonna create some sexual tension because she's gonna see you looking at her lips and then she's gonna be like he wants to kiss me or do i want to kiss him you're just like putting seeds like throwing the seeds in her brain watch at the end of the night the bitch is gonna be like come to my house like or can i go to your house please please fuck me now number five accidentally touch her so again do not go touch the pussy accidentally because no or the ass or the titty because she's like okay what the fuck is wrong with you but no you know accidentally touch her hand her shoulder the lower back uh anything you want besides the thing i said maybe not her face yet but accidentally because i don't know how you accidentally touch her face but accidentally supposedly because what that's gonna do since it was an accident She's gonna start thinking, yo, okay, he touched me, like that was very light. So I'm wondering uh, if he grabs me for real and with intention, how is that gonna feel? This shit works on me, like you do a little bit and then if I am starting to like you, I'm like, yo, fucking grab me. Like, how does it feel when he grabs me or if he grabs me? You know, you're putting seeds again. Yes, you gotta touch the fucking bitch. I don't care what you guys are saying. You gotta touch her. Number six, combine teasing with touching. Again, you gotta touch, and again, you gotta act like it's not so much an accident this time, but like it's your playing. So maybe you're like, damn, you work out, girl, and then you go and trying to touch her like this, like to, to touch the muscle. Stuff like that. I'm telling you, you have to break that touch barrier. And then obviously she's gonna laugh, oh, stop it, stop it. You know, but she takes it as a compliment too. Number seven, when you feel like it's okay and she's kind of relaxed, what you need to do, you need to try to kiss. I'm sorry. You got, you got to try. If the vibe, all of this, she's giggling, everything you did so far, she's laughing. She hasn't said no to anything you're doing. You need to fucking go for the kiss a little. Let's take some risk. So, you know, you guys are having a good time. You're sitting next to her and try to kiss her on the cheek. Go for the cheek first because this is safer. Especially if she's not ready, it's safer for you and for her. So you go to the cheek and then you see her reaction. You see if she giggles, if she's like, mm -hmm, you know? And if she's kind of like open to it, if she's like, oh, try to dodge your kiss, you already know what the fuck is going on. Do not go for the mouth after that. But if she giggles and everything is cool, you know you can move in to the cheek. So maybe, I mean, me, I like, progressive you know maybe you start here then here here then and then ah, i bite your fucking face off but you don't you don't do that so you go slower slower and then eventually you kiss her so you kiss even with the kiss it has to be gradual so you do maybe just a little peck and leave it alone maybe then after that you come back and kiss a little harder and harder and then it's fucking passion and then ah, you put your tongue and everything a little tongue because you know i've told you about that sloppy dumb shit a little tongue and you see how she reacts to that and then you you go and you chill again number eight do not react to a shit test i am telling you a lot of women are just testing you because they want to 
pick the best for themselves, you know? So I know it's not fair and all that shit, okay? But a woman actually wants you to pass. She gives you this test uh, just to realize like, okay, I like him. Okay, I could be with somebody like that. That's what they're testing. But they really do want you to pass because they want to like you. Women want to be in relationships. So she's not looking for like, okay, how can he fail so I don't like him? No. They're like, I'm going to do that. I mean, it's not conscious again. They're going to do some shit and they want to see your reaction. So again, what I tell you about them shit tests, you got to keep it cool. You can be defensive. You can get mad. You got to actually joke about it or ignore it and act like the bitch didn't say shit. Yes, that is the way you're going to pass any shit test. Number nine, you can hold her hand for longer than expected. So, you know, maybe now you got cool, you guys kissed a little bit, now you hold her hand. And when you feel like it's a little awkward, stay with that. Maybe she'll take her hand away, but maybe she won't. So just stay there and then keep talking. I know you felt like, yo, I'm holding for too long. Don't care. Keep holding and keep talking to her. And then eventually that's just going to become normal that, okay, he's just holding my hand while we're having a conversation. That's where you want to be because then now she's like, okay, there is this level of intimacy. You guys already kissed. Now the hands. Next thing. And also, obviously, if she pulls her hand out, you, know, you already know what's going on. And if she doesn't, she's most likely interested in getting some. Number 10, stare into her eyes. Yes, women love that. She might herself feel a little uncomfortable and kind of look away like, <laughs> you know, but if you are able to do that right there, you set yourself apart because a lot of men cannot keep their eye contact going and uh, it just shows your dominance, especially if she cannot hold the contact, she's going to be submissive. Number 11, tell naughty and kinky stories but don't go overboard don't be like yeah i was fucking her my dick got hot like that's not the type of story you're telling you're like i went to this uh, waterfall and the waterfall was so crazy it started raining we got wet it was steamy it was such a hot day it felt so good then when i went back to my hotel room i realized that the washing machine wasn't working so i had to fucking sleep naked that night because all my clothes were dirty and it was such a hot night. I was so sweaty. It was just crazy. And then in the morning when I woke up, you know, I was sharing this, uh, this place with, um, with some, some other people and I had no clothes. So, you know, I put this little towel around my waist and I was so scared that somebody would catch me. But, you know, I went and I had to go fix the fucking washing machine because, you know, I couldn't uh, wear them wet clothes again. You, you know, you find a story where it's like, wet hot steamy uh, i had only uh, a little towel i had to sleep naked the waterfall all that shit you know you're sending sending like signals of like hotness wetness fuckiness like all that shit she will start thinking yo <laughs> yo i wish i was there like that story is so fucking ugh. i wish i was there but in your mind how you said it you didn't say anything really sexual you just was telling a story. Number 12, be a dangerous gentleman. So I know I say dangerous earlier, but like you gotta be a gentleman too. Like for example, you open the door for her. Yes, because you motherfuckers are opening doors. You open the door for her and then you lead her by the lower back. That shows dominance. That shows that you are a gentleman. So it just shows that you are civilized, that you have manners, but you are a strong man and you're a little bit of a savage, a little bit. That, that, you know, you gotta have this little combo for women to feel like, ooh, like her pussy would be like tingling. <laughs> yes. Oh, another thing that you can do is like, you know, when you're at a restaurant, you pull the chair for her, and then when she sits down, you whisper a little compliment in her ear. Telling you. And then number 13, hopefully, we're doing all of this in that evening. If the bitch don't like you, Either you did it wrong or she just wasn't gonna like you regardless. So now that she likes you and maybe you found a way to get back to her place or she's back at yours, now what you do, you gotta perfect the art of taking clothes off. Yes. Because you know, maybe now she's just like, okay, we're just gonna make out, la la la. No bitch, we're not just making out, we're fucking. Yes. 
so when you guys are starting to make out you know you take a piece of clothing off of her and then you go back and you kiss a little bit don't be taking all the clothes out like take everything off like right away that might like scare her i think with somebody that you're just starting to have sex with or for the first time i think you should like take the time to take her clothes off so she don't feel rushed she don't have to start thinking oh my god what am i doing no just take the the top off first then you kiss you kiss then you take i don't know a sock off then you kiss maybe you want to kiss her feet yes you should do that and then you take the pants off you know you take your time a piece of clothing for some kisses another piece of clothing for other pieces it's like kind of like you're thanking her okay can i can i take your pants off now bitch yes okay now i kiss you here you're happy now yes and then eventually she's all the way naked and you're right there like a fucking horse doo -doo 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 -doo. i hope that's not i mean maybe that's how you guys fucking i don't know but yes so that's it so i hope this was helpful i hope that this will work for you you should try but first of all always make sure that she's okay that she is willing to do all these things but with all of this you will feel like if she's not willing i'm telling you do not jump to another to another thing you don't really have to do all that in order but make sure that you don't like keep on going at it and at it when you see like she's refusing the kiss on the cheek and then you still go for the mouth. Don't do that shit. Oh, you're holding her hand and she, and she take the hand away. Like, yo, you're not seeing the signals at this point. So make sure you read into um, how she reacts to all the little stuff that you're, um, that you're setting. And also uh, something I forgot to say, it's like the whole night what you gotta make her feel is that she is complying to whatever you're asking. Every time you ask for something big or small, she needs to say yes. The more she says yes, the more it's showing you like, yes, she wants me. Like for example, um, let's go to the bar. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab you a drink. Okay, all them shit, you know, uh, or sometimes it's not even in words, it's in action. You're gonna try to kiss her. If she doesn't go away, that's her saying yes. Everything, you gotta read into it. I'm sorry, it's difficult, but women don't like to really express in the beginning because you know after that, they're gonna express their feeling all day long. But right there in that stage, you gotta try to cater to them, especially if it's a good girl and if you like her, you know, hey, and that you like her, you know you can do that shit for her. So that's all I got. Hopefully that works for you. Let me know, try it, comment. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram if you want to at MelliLoveXO and at MelliMonaco. And I hope I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow!